What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh, this is Native Nomads and today we're gonna to be talking about what we've done so far to the interior of our Lexus GX460 build. Now, if you guys are new to the channel or this is your first time stopping by, we appreciate you coming by to watch this video. Um, we have tons of videos about tons of different vehicles on the channel, and we would love to have you as a subscriber. So if you are interested, hit that subscribe button so you can come along for all of our adventures. And I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, as well as every video you will see here on this channel. That is Adventure Rig Shop. AdventureRigShop.com is where you can find all of the parts, pieces, and components for your GX460 build or just about um, any other vehicle that you're looking to build. The links for the products that we use in our build will be in the description. So if you would like to take a look at those, please feel free to do so. Um, and you can save yourself 5% by using code NOMAD at checkout. Now, the Nomadic CFX 55DZ is sitting on top of our Dobinson drawer system. So the Dobinson drawer system is made specifically for Land Cruisers, um, Forerunners, as well as the GX460. Now, the install is very straightforward. You do have to remove the back seats of, uh, that are inside your GX460 if you intend to put this in. Um, if there's any carpeting down there, you have to rip that up. And then you pretty much align it with the holes that are already there that you take the bolts out of for your uh, third row seat. So it actually fit perfectly, but um, I did not order the two side panels that go on it. And you can see that there's a huge gap on either side, but we are going to clean that up. Now the Dometic is sitting on the side of the Dobinson drawer system that actually slides out. So the left side of the drawer system has a lockable slide out that you can pull your refrigerator out and you can push it right back in. And if you don't wanna use that side for your fridge, that's totally fine as well. But the CFX, Dometic CFX 55DZ, I'm done saying that, fits absolutely perfect on that slide out. It literally fits perfect. I can take my uh, second row seats, my captain's chairs, I can push them all the way back. This is a perfect refrigerator for this car. And it was by happenstance, it was an accident. I did not did not know what refrigerator I was gonna go with, but that's the one I went with. Now the Dobinson drawer system is an all carpeted drawer system with only two drawers. So this build for me is about being a minimalistic and as functional as possible. I have had tons of vehicles, I've had Jeeps, um, we've had the Power Wagon, and I have done so much to them to try to make them this ultimate off-road machine slash overland rig. But at the end of the day, I spend a lot of time and a lot of money doing stuff that I never actually use. So my goal here is those two drawers that are in this drawer system, those are the only two drawers that I'm allowing myself to have for gear for when we travel. So as I've started building this vehicle out, I've come to a couple of realizations. And those are that this vehicle was absolutely 100% built to be an overland rig. Um, and I say that because we've had Jeeps and it, we have the Subaru Outback Wilderness, we've had the Power Wagon, and there were always these little things that added up to be issues at the end. And one thing that has always been a problem and what I like to do, I like to have everything below the rear seats so I can see out my rear view mirror. And the reason I like to do that is because it's always neatly packed that way. I know where everything is and it doesn't get too out of control. This vehicle sits a little bit higher in the rear, allowing you to have a little bit more stuff in the back and still gives you full view out of your rear view mirror. That's just one of the things that I've encountered since I started building this vehicle of why it works so perfectly and why I feel like this vehicle was intended for this. The drawers on the Dobinson drawer system are 31 inches um, in length, 16 and a half inches in width, and seven and a half inches deep. So you have plenty of space in there to pack out the essentials that you need. This will not be enough for a, probably a family of four traveling for weeks at a time, but I am going to have to force myself to make this work because I want this to be a minimal stealth build that is super capable. That's why the lift in the wheels and the tires and all of the extras that we're putting on this are for a 100% very specific intended purpose. Everything on this vehicle will be utilized leaving no margin for error, but it'll keep us from spending a fortune. And that's something I want to impress upon you if you have not start, you started your build 
or you're unsure of what you want, I'm gonna tell you right now that 90% of the things that you see on people's vehicles in the overland world, not 90%. A majority of them never get used. So don't buy the things that just make you look cool while you're headed to the grocery store. Buy the things that you actually need. And if you have lived in vehicles for an extended period of time, you know what I mean. If you have not, then this is going to be trial and error, but do not get sucked into the trap of all of the gear, the, the, the little gadgets and all the extra things that you think you need because all of those things not only cost money, but depending upon what they are, they could also decrease your gas mileage substantially, which is kind of counterintuitive to what we're trying to accomplish by traveling long distances and spending time in the outdoors. Now my gear loadout has, is very simple. I have the Jetboil Genesis stove. I have one can, one gallon, of propane. I have some dishes. Um, everything is collapsible and super compact. I have one small set of tools because you could only fix so much on the trail. And that is another thing I fell into. I always had all these tools and a high lift jack. And don't get me wrong, those things are definitely useful if you're the type of person that wheels super hard. But if you don't, then you're probably never going to use them. Um, I have a first aid kit, which is something you should be purchasing right away. That is the first thing that you need to have before you take your family way out into the middle of nowhere. So outside of my Jet Boil Genesis stove, uh, my first aid kit, my small amount of uh, cookware and dishes, I have my tool set on the left hand side as well as a fire extinguisher, um, three small really compact camp chairs, and uh, just miscellaneous items that I store in a little bin. That's it. I know there are going to be some other additional items. I also have my compressor hose that I keep in the back and I, that's just a good place to have it because you don't need it that often. But outside of that, that is what I'm limiting, to, limiting myself on because if I start carrying more and more gear, I start packing more and more stuff in there, inevitably the heavier this vehicle gets, the worse gas mileage it gets. And then it's really hard to get to the things that you need when you need them without taking a bunch of stuff out of the back of your truck. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for my little rant on what I think you need and what you don't need and take it for what it is. If you've done this before, then you do whatever you wanna do. But uh, that's just where I'm at in my life. I'm simplifying all of my stuff. And uh, that is what I have as my loadout in the back of my GX460. If you um, have any questions, please feel free to leave those into the comments. I will be happy to help in any way that I can as you're trying to build out your rig. Um, I am by no means a, a professional, but I have done this several times. So I do have a little bit of insight that I would be more than happy to give you free of charge. Um, but if not, then I appreciate you guys for stopping by and watching today's video. Please subscribe to the channel so you can come along for more adventures and be a part of more videos like this. And we will see you on the next one.